All right, folks, I'm going to do a little demonstration here on my Lee uh, breech lock press. It's uh, very simple, easy press to work. I like it a lot, as I'm sure you've heard me say before. Um, I got 80-something cases here. I got these left over here. I'm going to top off to make it a 100-round a, a set <clears throat> that I'm going to load. Now, these cases have been fired once, well, actually two times. It's military brass. I've already uh, deep... Uh, got the uh, crimp out of them and fired them once. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how I get the primer out and size it with my Lee press. Now with the Lee press, I got the Lee dies here. Um, what Lee recommends on their dies is you, you put the shell holder, which is right here. You put your shell holder in, the, uh, in your ram, you run it all the way up and then you set these um, uh, you run it all the way up, then you, you screw the die in until it touches the, the um, shell holder. Then you lower the ram, screw it in another one-third to one-quarter turn, and then lock it down. And that's where you resize, full-length resize your, your brass. Now, with the breech lock, I'll show you over here. I can, you can see uh, it's got the, I've got the, the bushing out of there. So I do is I buy extra bushings. And uh, you can see I've got them. i got one on here. There's one there. And I've got one on each of my dies. So whenever I go to use them, these dies are already set. So when I want to use it, I just stick it in the press and go. And uh, that's one of the things I like about the breech lock that I find to be very handy. So I'll show you. There's a little indent right here. I don't know if you can see that or not. See a little indent right there? That goes in line with this pin. This pin pushes. So since my die is set, I don't have to put it in, touch off, back up, a quarter turn or whatever. I can just drop this in with these milled slots here. That allows me to drop it in to place, press it down, and turn it until the little button pops up. And there it is. Now that die is set and ready to go. Now I've got to put my shell holder in. There, I'll slide it in. See, it's got the little, little boss fit there on the side that allows it to slide in to there. And then that's in. Now I use, I don't use this priming tool. You can see this little, this little button here comes up right there. And on the other side, you can see this, that piece right there. That's uh that's to prime it with the press. Well, I don't use that. What I use it for is that tool allows the primer, when the primer comes out, it comes out this little chute here. It presses the primer down. That tool keeps it from going out the other side. It drops the primer out this hole and then down inside there, and then that drops down into my primer tube, which is down there. It's kind of dark. can't see it. Anyway, that's how that works. So, that is that. Get this out of the way. Now, another thing that we need for this job. Let me find it. There it is right there. Now, some people use the spray-on lube, the one-shot. Um, some people use the, the Lee grease, which is this stuff right here. Uh, you do it. You can do a case at a time with that stuff. Um, I use the little pad. A lot of people say it's old school, but it works quicker for me. So I'll take my pad. I'll open it up. It's a little dirty, but that's all right. It ain't gonna hurt nothing. And then what I like about the pad is I don't have to do one case at a time and wipe it down. I can throw me four or five pieces of brass right there. Throw me. Five pieces there. You know what? I've got enough. I'm going to go ahead and just do all of them. Take that. And you got to lube your cases. These aren't carbide dies, so i got to lube them. So I'll take it. I'll leave two out. That's a little bit too much. So we'll rub it back and forth a little bit. Rub it back and forth a little bit. Now that's ready to go. So now what I'll do is I'll take one. Sometimes I'll take one piece of brass every third or fourth piece, and I'll just tap it like that to get a little bit on that on the neck area so the the ball comes out easier so let me put this in here and i'm going to run some run some brass here and show you how this press works okay now take the brass you have to pull it up a little bit uh to lower that that pin in there it won't let the brass go in let's put the brass in run it up and there you go that piece of brass is sized move on to the next piece I don't know if you can see the primers popping out the side there, but if you look over here, you'll see a piece of a primer pop out. 
and that's catching it down inside that tube. This is my favorite part of uh, reloading. I just like pulling the lever, kind of like playing slot machines, I guess. It's just a, it's a cool thing. This is where the, where the magic happens, is when you pull that lever. Now, you know, other videos I've shown is a lot of prep. You'll spend more time prepping your brass than you will actually pulling the lever. Pulling the lever is my favorite part. But you've got to go through the steps um, to get there. But this is basically how you resize brass. Now, this is 223 brass, so I'm uh, I'm full length sizing this brass because with a with a semi-automatic weapon, you don't want any any troubles, failures to feed or whatever. If it if it fits the chamber precisely, it does cause it does create a little bit of room for error, and the last thing you want is malfunction when you are shooting a semi-automatic weapon, uh, especially in a survival situation is where your your most concern comes from but there you have it that right there <clears throat> excuse me that's how i resize my brass and that's that those last few pieces i've done may give me a full 100. now i'm going to go through i'm going to resize i'm going to trim these to length deburr them clean the primer pockets prime them and then they'll be ready with these to charge and load bullets so that's that step that is uh that's the, the first step, actually, it isn't in, in uh, chrono, chrono, chronology, I guess is the word, with reloading as far as the videos I'm putting out, but that is the first step in reloading. And it's that simple. There you have it. And uh, I'll get back with y'all on the next video, which will be uh, charging and loading. Alrighty. God bless America. Y'all be good.